Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome back to From the Heart, A Realization, Part 5. I wasn't sure if they were going to let that one get in because it was just over 15 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> But thankfully, they did. Um, okay. And instead of leaving it, you know, Missy, Douglas, and me, I wanted my boy. But I knew Douglas was going to give me my boy. So, I went for my boy, and I got my boy. It wasn't immediately push off. It wasn't until Joey was about two and a half and Missy started to show jealousy and violence in that towards him, which could have stemmed from seeing some Douglas aside, worshipped Joe. They idolized him. He was the first baby in years for that family. I mean, they didn't, when Missy got into the family, they didn't really, you know, it wasn't no big deal. They didn't, they may have, you know, accepted her, but they did not accept her. She was a step. Um, when Joey was born, after the realization that I could not breastfeed, they were there and was taking him from three weeks up until he was about a year and a half, two years old. When um, Douglas's sister Libby's grand first grandchild was born, the one that was taking him all the time, and then they cut Joey out of the picture, and Joey was hurt bad, and he was clinging to us in fear of losing us also because he lost. You know, they were like a mother and father to him also. So he was in fear of losing us, so he clung to us. And in that, it made Missy jealous. Because we started pushing Missy away when Joey clung to us more. We allowed it. I didn't the realization came too late for me to do anything about it. It wasn't meant to because of what I had said though. I had said I never wanted any girls. Um do no. Your dad said no pennies. You were not to play in them. They were to stay there. You are not doing what you did last night. I am sorry. Your dad said no. And I'm I, not doing what I'm doing last night. I'm just doing this and putting my foot in there. And then I can get sucked into Daywell. Okay. Oh, hi. I'm lost. Um, so Missy felt betrayed and she started to feel being pushed back. So she started acting out worse. And instead of noticing it for what it was, the doctors and the started pushing more medicine. Probably made it worse. Because, um, before Joey, she had a really bad allergic reaction to um, medication, and she put me down 
this was before I had spine issues and that when I was still strong and you know I could do everything and I was strong back then because I had picked her up and put her in, in a wall uh, not in a wall but up against a wall right after that and um, until she calmed down you know I held her up against the wall and um That's why the fear of her paralyzing me after the disc issues started. Well, I ended up having to, um, I ended up getting some very bad sinus infections and that all the time in the house because of the, we didn't realize there, but, but there was black mold in the house. So I was have always bad sick. Um, at the same time, I was having really bad problems with, uh, I had my lowers in at the time, so I was still having really bad infections in my mouth because of the sinus and that. There were spirits in that house that were attacking us all the time. This was before I fully accepted Christ back into my life. Um, we were smoking, I was still smoking um, pot at the time. Um, it was that I had already now, and now at that time, that's after Joey. So no, I had already slipped my disc when she put me down because that's when I got the pinched nerve, the first pinched nerve when I couldn't move my left arm. That's what it was. Sorry. Um, when she put me down, I couldn't move my left arm. But that's why I held her up like this for as long as I could. Because I couldn't move my left arm, my shoulder but this. I had to literally pull it up like this and hold on to the shower curtain to wash my arm, you know. I could only lift it up to here. I could not bring it above here. It would not rotate up. You know, I finally got more rotation back in it, but the d nerve damage is done. So, I was smoking pot and uh, medically for the pain. And, um, there was spirits in the house and they were attacking me, they were attacking Missy, and me and they were, you know, I know they were putting thoughts in Missy's head, and they were attacking me spiritually, and we were all just separating from, you know, we weren't, a house divided is a house, you know, a divided house is a house that's going to soon fall, you know, you cannot, a divided house cannot stand together. A divided house will fall. You have to be a united house in order to stand together. If you are not united, you're going to break apart and fall, which is going on right now. You know, ever since... But, um... So, you know, with the family not... And even me and Douglas was not united at that time. We were having difficulties because of the female that was living in the house and my nephew that was living in the house and his other daughter that was living in the house. And I mean, we, at that time, we were way off worse than what we were here. I mean, it was a lot worse. And I mean, we just had so much just tur tur turmoil and so many, so much drama and everything in the house. I'm surprised any of us survived, honestly. Okay, so we moved, every, you know, the house was sold, you know, it was, they, um, you know, put it up for auction. We were out the day that it went on the auction. We were out two days before it went up for auction. We moved into the trailer and the, the Lord provided. Amazingly, we got in. 
we got the place a week before, you know, we were the last ones out. Everybody was out, already out. Me, Kevin, you know, me, Douglas, Joey, Messi, and Kevin were the last ones out. My nephew, Kevin. The son of my guess. The gay son of my guess. one's out, you know, Douglas had put his job on him because he was so sick. He had just had gallbladder surgery, I mean, like two months before that. He was so sick, he was out of work for like four months because his nerves and all that, he could not take it no more. I mean, it was just that bad. I mean, he was so weak and so defeated, he was broken but not spiritually. He was broken physically. And honestly, I don't think he's, out. he's been able to really come back from it. Fully come back from it. Not yet. I know, I'm, I'm watching my time. And this we, this wasn't the original house. We actually got approved for in this trailer park. Not that was true. It was on the other road. It was a different house, more expensive. This one just fell in our lap. Um, we had happened to, you know, come back around here, and we were like, wait a minute, that one's... And we, you know, and after we had went home, Douglas still looked in the, you know, the paper and that, and he's like, there's another one in the park, and it's cheaper. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, there's another one in the park. It, it's it's in the newspaper, and it's cheaper. Or it was on Craigslist. One was in the paper, one was on Craigslist. <coughs> and so we came here, and, you know, we liked this place a lot better. It was a lot better for us, and it was a lot cheaper. Outright cash, paid for it, got approved. Bam, we were moved in here. And this is where that's twice now. Dude, are you trying to like seriously hurt yourself today or something? I think the spirits are after both of us today, boy. Resist the devil and he must flee. And I resist you, devil. You must flee. Alright, this is From the Heart of Realization, Part 5. I shall return with From the Realization of Part 6. Or from the realization part of that. I love you guys. God bless you. Peace be in you.